what's going on 909ers welcome back to the channel uh, today is going to be just a quick little video of this abandoned resort um, just by coincidence this still happens to be where Marilyn Monroe was discovered so stick around because we're going to match up this iconic photo of her because that was taken here at this place again she was discovered here if she was not um, here on this day in 1949 doing this photo shoot she probably maybe would have never been discovered but first let's talk a little bit about the racket club of palm springs the racket club was a resort in palm springs california founded by actors charles farrell and ralph bellamy which opened December 15th, 1934. Originally developed with two tennis courts, it expanded to include a swimming pool, the bamboo room, which was a bar, bungalows, and more courts. The club also served as a gathering place and party venue for much of Hollywood's show business elite. The Hollywood elite included the likes of Humphrey Bogart, Errol Flynn, Lana Turner, and several others. In the 1960-61 annual pictorial edition of Palm Springs Life magazine, the Racket Club was dubbed the Racket Club Movie Colony Hideaway. The club was a venue for the 1975 Davis Cup America's Zone and soon after started to suffer from a decline. After a massive fire on July 23, 2014, the club was partially demolished. In an October 2013 letter sent to the Palm Springs mayor by the Palm Springs Preservation Foundation, the Racket Club was named number two in the foundation's list of top five properties potentially in danger of fire or demolition by neglect. In this letter, it also pointed out that the city's lacks of enforcement of the vacant buildings ordinance had helped create the conditions that had led to these fires. Now, before we move on to how Marilyn Monroe was discovered here, if you guys could please smash that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. On a summer day in 1949, Marilyn Monroe was discovered here at Charlie Farrell's Racket Club in Palm Springs by Johnny Hyde. After spotting her having her photos taken by the poolside, he signed Marilyn to a contract and she soon became the star we all know and love today. Marilyn Monroe flashes her all-American smile while posing in her blue body, hugging swimsuit on the diving board of the Palm Springs Racket Club. The photo session changed the course of Marilyn's life forever when photographer Bruno Bernard introduced her to Johnny Hyde, vice president of the William Morris Agency, who fell head over heels for her. Okay, now we're going to get ready and match up this, uh, this shot to this famous iconic photo of Marilyn Monroe where she got discovered. This is the actual pool, guys. This is the pool that she was discovered at. And uh, give me a second. We're coming in for the shot. And that's it right there. Uh, give me a second. We're going to zoom in. There we go. And that is the shot right there, guys. I want you guys to pay attention to that centerpiece at the top uh, portion of that roof right in the center, uh, that little piece that pops out. And keep in mind that the building that is right next to the pool is no longer there. It was uh, burned down in the 2014 uh, fire that we were discussing about at the beginning of the video. Now here is the photo, the picture that I have been talking about. Uh, whether you're a Marilyn Monroe fan or not, uh, you're just hearing about her for the first time. I'm sure you guys have seen this picture somewhere. So take a second, study it if you need to. Again, pay attention to that same uh, little thing that's sticking out on top uh, of the roof. And I'm going to do a slow fade back and match the shot up. All right, and that's the shot right there. Uh, not the exact angle, but very close, close enough. I throw that in for good measure. She did do some other pictures here that day. This first one, uh, you can't really match up because that chimney um, to the right and that other spire to the left is gone. Um, this picture, the next two pictures are from a different angle, so it's kind of pointing out to the street. There's really nothing there to, to match up either. But uh, here's the pool. One last quick look of the uh, the pool 
and a uh, pan around of the resort. And then we're going to, uh, well, I'm going to include some footage from her grave. Um, I was there uh, two or three years ago. And uh, I would love to go back and make a proper video on her. Uh, really quick, guys, I thought these might have been like another pool. There's actually two of them. I thought it was another pool. That's kind of why I hurried and flew over here. But upon closer look, they kind of look like a, like a racquetball court. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Leave comments down below. Let me know what you think this is because it doesn't look like a pool. It kind of looks like a racquetball court to me. But yet, at the same time, it doesn't. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what that is. But before we go over to the uh, grave site, there's something I want to show you guys real quick. Uh, when Marilyn became famous and she came back and stayed here, it was, uh, she had her own, you know, her own suite. And every time she would, uh, she would, uh, come here to stay, I heard that she had her own pool. This is the only one here that I see that has its own pool. So this was possibly, uh, Marilyn's, uh, bungalow where she would stay. All right, we'll uh, we'll head over and uh, flower this pool one last time, and here is the uh, the last tennis court that is left intact. And right there, right in the center of the uh, that round roof, there is the uh, the spire we were matching up that uh, let us know the location of where Marilyn had been discovered. We're at Westwood Cemetery today. And uh, this is actually, from what I've heard, the most star-studded cemetery in the greater Los Angeles area. And it is actually one of the most smallest. Look at this, this is all there is to it. But there's so many, so many stars here. And we're gonna start off with the most famous one. That's right. Marilyn Monroe. She's right here, guys. And then, of course, next to her, Hugh Hefner. Which is kind of weird. No, it's not weird. He bought this spot. But they and moved somebody. No, um, yes, I, they moved. I, I, I don't they know moved if, I don't know if they moved him, but I know this guy here. He requests to be buried face down. So he's because on he's top on of he's on top of Marilyn. I remember reading that. All right, guys, so I actually almost feel bad. We didn't bring any flowers. Look at that. We have flowers. Wow. I mean, you see it in pictures and, and movies and whatever and whatnot. You, you, uh, it's just kind of surreal to see it in person. But let's move on. Look guys, I noticed this as we were walking away. I turned and looked back. That is a little creepy, if you ask me. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Why is this pushed back? This should be completely sealed. So this was just a quick little video I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, by the way guys, if you could please do me a favor, like this video, uh, comment, uh, share it out to your friends on your social media, wherever you can and uh, help this channel grow. I also want to give a shout out to my uh, Patreon members, Michelle Sterling, Zeb, and David Piotrowski. Thank you guys so much for your contributions. Uh, it's your contributions that keeps this channel going and gets us out to more and more places like this for you guys. Also a shout out to everybody that has donated to the channel. Thank you guys so much. Again, your contributions get us out here to these sort of places. Uh, thank you guys. Consider joining Patreon, guys. Become a member today. Thanks for watching.